Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best aquascapes that's happening here at Aquacella. So we're just going to go through and look at all these scapes. And you guys will be able to judge these. Let me know in the comment section what was your favorite aquarium. And we're going to start right here at the first one. This is number 13. Beautiful scape right here. I'm loving the wood, the plants, how they did the rock work. And I think the selection of fish is awesome as well. You got like two different types of quarries in here. And it look like there's some black angels in the back as well. Awesome scape. Now, a lot of these tanks they've been working on for over a day or so trying to get these together they're not all the way crystal clear yet but for the most part these tanks are stunning this is number 12 here well, they got some type of guppies in the bag i like how this tank is looking i got the nice two pieces of driftwood they use some a lot of fern in here. Look like some Monte Carlo, some Anubias. And I think it came out really well. Oops, excuse me. Over here we got number eleven. I really like this tank. I like the simplicity of it. You can see they got a lot of botanicals in here. You can see there is some little shrimps in here as well. I'm not exactly sure what type of fish they chose, but it looks like some type of Daniel in here. I like how the wood kind of starts up high, comes out the aquarium, and slows down over here. Got a little bit of rock work. Look like they're just using dragon stone, a bunch of dragon stone throughout of all this driftwood. Really nice tank. I like this one. This might be my number one right now. Over here we got number 10. I like this tank. I think the guy that got keep all the shrimp did this one. I can't yeah, think of his name. Yeah, Grant. Oh, okay, okay. Which ones you bring in? Brought in all this. These are fish you brought in right here? Yeah, those are the um, rummy nose rasboros. And there's probably, like, oh, there's peacock gudgeons down there at the bottom. So. Oh, yeah, I see those. I like those rummy nose rasboros. I'm going to have to get some of those. They're really cool. Yeah, I like how they did this tank. It was mainly all this wood, and then they added a bunch of plants in here. They got tons of, like, small leaf fern. We got some moss on the wood. We like some type of boost on here as well. I like this tank. I like the details they added in the substrate. It was all sand, but they added a lot of detail into the substrate. And then they got this little alleyway through here, which it leads kind of to the back of this grass area back here. Really nice. This tank is empty. I guess nobody didn't show up to do that one, but they provide all the hardscape and everything for these aquascapers to create their masterpieces. So that's really super dope. And I believe they get to keep these tanks afterwards. So imagine getting all this full setup as we done scaping. That's like amazing. That's a $1,000 tank right there set up. Over here we got number nine. The white sand is very bright. I like the rock in here. Um, look like it has a lot of texture and a lot of character to it. It's not my favorite style, but I think it's still a really awesome tank. How it's broken up. I don't see any fish in here yet. But they have some type of uh, stem plants in the back. Not exactly sure. Like maybe it could be some Bolivia. And they have a little driftwood over here with some jungle vow in the back. Some Anubias and Crips throughout. 
really nice skate. Now this might be my favorite, right? Because it looks crystal clear. Whoever did this one got this tank together very fast and it's crystal clear. This is number eight. This might be my number one. <laughs> I love how this skate looks, how it cascades, comes down over here. It's tall over in this corner. It's a lot of depth. It looks way deeper than what the tank really is. Let's get a little closer look and see the type of fish that are in here. This is a beautiful scape. I like how they got this tall grass at the top up here. Like some stem plants in the back. Some moss. Beautiful aquarium. And I like the background too as well. It really makes the tank pop with the background in here. You can see how deep, look at all the depth within this scape. This might be my number one. Just the detail with the wood and the rock down here, the plants, a lot of detail in here. Super nice. Well, here we got scape number seven. This tank is looking good as well. I like to use a bunch of wood and dragon stone in here give you guys a close look at that some nice fern see what type of fish they have in here really nice it's not my favorite but it's still a beautiful tank you can tell they put a lot of work into this got a nice a lot of grasses on the back nice choice of plants but it could be too much you guys can let me know what you guys think there's another tank that is currently empty at the moment nobody showed up to we have this tank you guys still working on this tank it looked good but it looks damn good it looks really good what inspired y'all to do this what was, your, what was your inspiration yeah, we do a lot of work with ADA, so like we just want to go that classic nature style. So okay. not, not put anything too complicated with it. So yeah, yeah just simplicity, real, simplicity. Yeah, just is where a real it's simple at. skate, nature style, just a good old wood. So skate. you got like the low light with like the lighting. You are doing like more of a low light, or the light's not on right now? Yeah, it's actually on timer, so it's oh, okay. dimming down. Oh, it's the, dimming down for the day. Yeah, either way, yeah, we use a lot of epiphytic plants, we use flangia, nubius, ferns, so even still, yeah, a lot of low light plants. Yeah, it looks good, man. You guys did a good job. Really good job at that. I like how you got the plants coming out here, too. So, uh, boosts and Anubias, that, that'll that grow out of water like that yep, long term? And, yep, and like in the wild, that's exactly how it grows, too. Is like, we find it will literally carpet a lot, almost just like grass. Like, you, you never see it really underwater in the wild, actually. Okay. So, yeah, it just really just grows like a weed on the ground. So, oh, wow. It's kind of, we're just kind of showcase, you know. What you can do yeah. with it. Yeah, and that too, just showcasing, you know, what life looks like above the water line, too. Right, yeah. And I like that. They did a really good job. They did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here we got another tank that's empty right now. They were number five, so you guys let me know which tank you guys like the most at the end of the video. This tank looks like they're still currently working on it, but it came out really well. I'm loving the driftwood, how tall it is. You can see the depth in it. They really focus on the depth of it. And I probably could use some more plants, but I think it looks really good. I think it's simplicity. And I like the different levels of the stone that's being used here. The nubius, the boost. I'm not exactly sure what plants. Oops, excuse me. I'm a man, dust and fish tanks. Hold up, where'd you go? Some type of stem plants. Nice. And that was number three. That's number three. Over here, this aquarium, this is number two. Oh, look at that. It's like a like a little cave that was built right here. And you can see they added some substrate and plant on top of the bridge. So I like how that looks. It looks really good. Nice chunks of stone. 
really awesome tank and it got some nice rummy nose testers in here. It's a good surprise. Travel ferns, boost. Awesome. And I love this tank here. The tops on it with the lighting. This is a really nice, nice aquarium. Now, number one is over here. I like this one as well. They use some dragonstone in here. A lot of different stem plants, Marty Carlos, Boost. Looks really good. They got some nice big rummy notes in here. He has a nice size on them. Got this nice alleyway through here. Looks good. This is your tank? You yeah, this is theirs. Y'all? Yeah, this is his first tank. Well, he brought, brought, we'll give y'all we'll give brought yourself a shout out. He brought our fish though. Oh, so you so brought the fish. You're, you're, you did the tank. I, I, did, I did do the tank with these two ladies. Okay, y'all did an awesome job. And what, I just want you what to was know. Y what was your inspiration behind this, though? Well, so I it's a Brazilian aquascape, which is a style of aquascaping, and I wanted a, a mountain valley. Yeah. And you accomplished and that. And I wanted color. I wanted lots of color. Yes. And uh, that. Yeah, I wanted like a, a valley or a canyon. And I. I think I did it. Yeah, you accomplished that. Thank you. You, you did, did good. So and you get to keep this tank, oh, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this home. <laughs> so you're going to break it down and oh, reset yeah. it back up? No, I'm going to go macroalgae in it. I've never done that before. Macroalgae, wow. macroalgae. That would be something new. That would be very interesting in there. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. different. Definitely. Well, I hope you win. I wish you luck. Thank you. Yeah, you're number one, so you might be number one. I think so. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll show you guys all the amazing aquascapes that was done here at Aquacella. You guys can let me know in the comments section what was your favorite tank. Let me know in the comments section what was your favorite tank. I'm going to go with number eight. Number eight is my favorite aquarium this one right here beautiful aquascape you guys can let me know in the comment section so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new around here make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications to be notified when i drop more videos i'm out of here